Hello YouTube, this is Andrew here. I'm doing, doing a quick shortcut on a new on a new distro of Linux that I have found recently. It is um it is Linux Deep in 2013. <clears throat> and this is the website here. And um go to download then choose if you have a 32 2-bit or 64-bit system then choose your language they have English and Chinese right now and you can download it as um, a BitTorrent or from the website I downloaded it as a torrent and it was very very fast um, so I recommend that um, if you click on the launcher button or the Windows key or super key it tells you tells you the software that you have installed here. This comes installed with Firefox and Chrome and um, as the internet browsers they have Skype for for video calls, they have, they have um, Thunderbird for your mail client. Um, I've installed Handbrake, VLC and Voco Screen just to help me do this, do this screencast here. Um, they, they have a game center, which is very interesting. Separate from a software center. And it's interesting because it has quite a few sort of big names in video games. I'm oh, sorry about that. Oops. Um, if you just go on here, here a bit. They have Street Fighter 2 and they have a Double Dragon. They um, have Contra and Pac-Man. So if I click on Pac-Man, it allows you to go and play the games straight away. So you don't have to, you don't have to go and install them at all. So as you see, I'm Pac-Man eating these goats up, and wow, I'm going to close that now. So that's very, very impressive there. And as well, you have the software center. And they, um, you, you upgrade the system and the software in this as well. This is all the, um, this is the upgrades for the operating system here. And you upgrade the software that you have installed here as well. I'm, um, <coughs> and you, if you, um, it, if you want to go and un uninstall software, that can be done very fast and simply through the through the tab here for 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 that purpose <coughs> over here you can if you press um for example i have installed audacity if i well i'll just show you some else there actually if i click on um let's just say i don't know say that i want to go and install Windows software onto my onto my computer. Normally I use Play on Linux, but there there is crossover here for for that purpose too. Um, this is available on Mac OS as well. <coughs> Unfortunately though because it's a Chinese a Chinese distro of Linux, a lot of the comments and reviews are in Chinese Chinese script, which I can't read. But um so anyway, if I if I if I want to install the software, just go and click on the install button here, and it bounces up to this install tab, and it shows you how that's going for you. It, it shows you here how much I mean uh, how fast the how fast it is downloading, and you can press on the X to stop if you want if you want. So it's very very useful. Um, System settings. They um, can change the. <coughs> you can change the background, and if you want to go and install, install drivers for your computer, you can go and press on the additional drivers button here, and they will show you all of the drivers that are available for your hardware. Like here, I have Broadcom for. The Wi-Fi, which is turned on and in use, which is good. 
has been tested by the developers and it, it is proprietary. So if you are one of those purists who don't like to use proprietary drivers and software, then this might not be for you. But if you are like me and are pragmatic and want it to work and look beautiful, then this is definitely for you. Um, over here they have they have power. You can change it. Um, here it is. To so so you have bounced power saver and high performance. You know this is this is for if you have a laptop, and um, as I do, um, this is is being run straight off the USB. By the way, um, so as soon as you go and install the disk image onto a USB. Oh, by the way, if you do a good tool, I I I like using. If you have Windows, um, this is a very a very a very handy tool to have. Just download this piece of software here. And you can go and um, and, and this allows you to go and take the disk image and write that onto a USB. So this will have the dot dot exe here. So download that. And uh, yeah, how's that installing going for crossover? Let's see. Oh yeah. By the way, look, it gives you a sort of preview into the programs that you have open, which is great. You know. Same as Windows, same as the same as Windows does, so that is useful. And um, so yeah, um, I Windows 8.1 and I have Linux Mint 16 Cinnamon installed on this laptop. And I personally am so impressed by this that I will go and install this over, over, over. Linux Mint 16 Cinnamon because I think it is far more user friendly and uh, and beautiful. Like here, they have the if you hold Windows and press W, they have the expose view, and if you hold 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 Windows key and press S, you have the desktop view. Um, so if I were to go into that and drag this across here, you can. Drag it, drag in between desktops and change, change it, it, it between them as well. So, um, I think this might be based on, I think Ubuntu 13.10, which is a, a good idea because it's functional, um, but you don't have the Unity desktop, you don't have the great big taskbar sort of launcher thing on the side here. It's um it's down below, and I think it's far more, far more attractive, as well as having, having the. The. Indicators here. For power and Bluetooth and um, and the screencast um and the screencast software I am using now. And um, this is a calendar here, of course, and here, is is a desktop app for weather so I have Brisbane chosen here which is good and um, it gives me um, a forecast of the of the upcoming week and um, there was a clock there was a clock desktop um, sort of applet here as well but I've seemed to have closed it by mistake and I can't figure out how to bring it back but I'm sure I'm sure there is a way but um yeah, if you are a user who's new to Linux, they have um, a user manual here, which is u which is useful. I've had a look through the th through the first chapter here, but it's quite detailed and and uh, gives you a good a good idea of of what it can do and can't do. And go just go in the um, chapters here. Like here, they have uh, they have a list of the apps. As I said before, if you press on the on the Windows key. Or the launcher button tells you. As well, as well. Um, if I say if I if I want to go and take this app or program and put it on the dock down below, if I go and right click and press send to dock, you know it's now on on the dock here. 
So isn't that great? Very simple, very sort of user friendly. That's great. But anyway, thank you for listening, and I hope you found found this useful and interesting. So have a good day, and feel free to leave a comment, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.